Welcome again. So in previous tutorial, we have seen how to create a migrations file for our existing database. So that was the migrations file. So we have given a simple command for create the clone for our database in another database called CAC tutorial. I just uh, drop all table and just uh, going to uh, see you that here I have just given the CAC tutorial database in app local. So now if we give the command call uh, CAC migrations migrate. Then after hit on enter, the database will be created uh, in here. So I'm just waiting some moment. Okay, so it's, it's working. So you can see the database table has created in here. So now there is a question that is, uh, for example, I have cloned my database in here, but I also need some data with my migration file. For example, I this uh, this that was my uh, main database, and this database has some data. Example, users has some data, and articles, categories, every table has some data. So if you want to keep your uh, some data with the migration file, then when you will uh, create the schema in here for your CAC tutorial, then you also want to uh, insert some data from this, this table. So what you can do, for example, I'm in here. So this, sol uh, this, this solution will be uh, create seed or seeding database. So example, I'm now changing my database again here and I'm going to my original database or my uh, first database. So this is the um, my project database tutorial. So now what I will do, I will create a seed file. So I'm just giving a common called CAC back seed and then giving the data and then I'm typing my table name, user, for example, users. So this is the users. When you will write this camel case users, then when you will hit on enter, so what will do? It will create a seed file. So this is the config folder, and in this config folder, below this migration, you can see there is a seeds folder. So you can see the user seed.php has created. So when you will click in here, what you will see, you will see the user's data in here. So this is the data, an array, and in this array you can see the user information like user ID two, three, all user information in here. So now, when you will uh, go in here, example, now I am I want to put it in here. I'm just going to drop my all database in from here, or table from here. Sorry, select and drop. So. I have deleted all tables from my CAC tutorial. So now I'm changing my database. Here I'm changing CAC tutorial to CAC tutorial. So after save, I'm going in here. That means in my command prompt. And I'm giving the command called CAC migrations migrate. And hit on enter. And you can see database has created in here. so table has been created all tables has created in here so now if you go in users you are not seeing any users data so we have to give another command in here so i'm just giving another command here that will check migrations and then seed so after hit on enter so now what you what has did so if we go and again browse your user you will see the users information in here so you can create your migration file. Also, you are able to create seed file. Then when we will clone your database in another server or another database, for example, I have just uh, created my all table, project table in here, then I also able to uh, insert all users data in here, or, or I also able to keep my all users data in seed file. So, it may you need uh, only 10 or 20 data. That means you can make it limitation. 
So you can go in database uh, in CAC PHP documentation. So here you can see I have given this command like CAC back seed data and your table name like that. And here you can see they have also given a, a, a an a, an command a command that uh, you can take only ten data or ten rows. So this is the command CAC back seed data. Then you have to just write limit, then you have to give the limit number that how many rows you want to take from your database table. So I think it's a nice a nice feature in CAC PHP. Uh, so now you are able to uh, create migration file, also able to create seed file, and also can create a uh, move your all tables in another database, also can insert uh, data from seed file. So now you don't need to export your database to give uh, or ship your uh, database to another source. So uh, also there has a track. So if you go in Phoenix log, you are able to see the track. So here's the track that you have used the migration. This migration file has been executed. So you can see the version. So this number actually migration this number you can see 2020055214 this number actually this number okay so you also able to track uh, keep tracking that what you are changing and what you are doing with your database schema so thank you for watching this tutorial welcome for the next in next tutorial we will see how to update uh, migration file thank you for watching Welcome for the next tutorial.